In the midst of death life persists. A courageous man prefers death to the surrender of self-respect. You don't know who is important to you until you actually lose them. Fear of death makes us devoid both of valor and religion. For want of valor is want of religious faith. Man lives freely only by his readiness to die, if need be, at the hands of his brother, never by killing him. If we weep for all the deaths in our country, the tears in our eyes would never dry. Life and death are but phases of the same thing, the reverse and obverse of the same coin. Death is as necessary for man's growth as life itself. I came alone in this world, I have walked alone in the valley of the shadow of death, and I shall quit alone when the time comes. We do not know whether it is good to live or to die. Therefore, we should not take delight in living, nor should we tremble at the thought of death. We should be acquainted towards death. Where death without resistance or death after resistance is the only way, neither party should think of resorting to law courts or help from the government. The wise are unaffected either by death or life. These are but faces of the same coin. To die in the act of killing is, in essence, to die defeated. What is imprisonment to the man who is fearless of death itself?